Okay, now I think you've got a pretty good idea of how this game plays. Um, what do I think of this game? Uh, it's very cute, um, thematic. You don't really feel like a real agent, uh, but uh, for a deck builder, it's. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, I mean, most of these uh, most of these uh, games deck builders are pretty themeless. Um, the progress of the missions is very nice. There's a lot of variation, um, although the variation is always the same, of course. Uh, you play the missions in order and you can't really switch from mission 1 to mission 3 or 4 or so, for example because they become harder and you won't have enough power in your deck um, the card combos are uh, well they're not the richest um, but they do some 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 different things <coughs> um, you can feel really locked in uh, the conveyor belt uh, filling. Um, I'm not going to play the knockout six cards in the line um, just to get the uh, to, to let the uh, let, uh, let the the video not take too too much time. Um, I think uh, it it provides some 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 nice uh, nice gameplay uh, setup is very very quick. Um, Teardown is of course the other side of the coin, uh, but the card quality is uh, visually very very pleasing. And there is also another version in brown. If you like that more, uh, I don't don't really find the brown to add anything other than maybe some some uh, 70s brown color or something. Um, the colors really pop. It's nice, nice. Uh, it's the cards are readable. Uh, I think for color blinds they're also decent. Um, they have a lot of contrast. Um, the player deck is not not ne not needed, but it will help you for your first games. Um, there is also some shuffling uh, involved, but not uh, not too much. Um, you need some luck in the, um, in, the uh, in the drawing of the cards. Um, Otherwise, you will take more alarm and have to retry. Um, I never had any problem with um, uh, getting too much alarm, so I think 49 is a bit too uh, too high of a bar. Um, the there are some some some. Uh, uh, some yeah the, the the rules themselves they are not very um intuitive um so when when you have played your cards they stack up in the play ar play ha play area and then uh, next turn you will draw the cards but before you draw the cards you clean up what you have in your hand um the but once you get into a certain flow, then uh, mission one is not very much different from mission two and three uh, in terms of uh, rules. Um, the keep cards, they look really nice and you can cover them in an efficient way, like so. So you have um, only the relevant parts of the cards that you have in benefit uh, in front of you. Um, I don't have 
anything bad to say about this game. Uh, I wouldn't uh, want to play it every day, but um, so once every year uh, would be nice. Uh, the texts here on top are a bit too small for me. I never consulted them. But there is a uh, game setup, action phase, mission check phase, and line scroll phase. Um, yeah, line scroll phase, resolve card effect from right to left. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it's from the right. I understand the error now. <coughs> yeah, the cards. Uh, it, d it depends, of course, on your card quality. I printed them 80 grams per side with a 80 grams um, blank page in the middle. Um, I would go n after some years of uh, uh, experience with uh, 120 grams and then use bookbinder, by bookbinder glue um, to create the cards. Um, it's very efficient, um, very durable. I mean, I've taken this to several hotel rooms uh, to spend an evening. Um, yeah, I think it's worth uh, to have it, it, it printed uh, professionally. Um, but it's never really tense or grim like... Um, like a real uh, secret agent or a spy. It's more relaxing and puzzly in nature, so you have to like that. Um, but overall, it's a very efficient game. Um, it plays very smoothly. Uh, you just have to remember some, uh, some, some tricky points that to check for the mission, you have to have the cards in hand and not play them. Um, so before you play a card, you would check actually the mission. Um, these are really small things. Um, the knocking out... Uh, it's actually the, the, the last goal of the game, to have all these cards knocked out. And you can knock out three cards. So with this pile, I could have knocked out these three. And you need it, and then this would slide over, and I would have to be lucky to gain another of those things to j be just in time. I think it can be done, um, but I'm going to keep the surprise for myself for the next game. Um, yeah, uh, I can highly recommend it uh, if you like some relaxing, puzzly thing. I think it's for uh, yeah, I think it's for almost everybody uh, old enough. <laughs> it's maybe too slow for uh, uh, well compared to, f for example, for for uh, with, with with Friday. In Friday you have this, you start with a few cards and this becomes a giant sprawling table with lots of things that trigger off each other. This is not the case here, this is much more um, simple. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I, there's not enough praise for it. And the thing is that you cannot buy this in a shop, you have to build it yourself. It's not uh, hard to build it yourself, but um, uh, yeah, that's the only way to, 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 to get this game. Um, there is a board game called Agent Decker, but that has a lot of unnecessary parts um, and also takes much more space in your uh, shelf. And as you can see, this game is easily played in. Uh, small section of a table so um, what else can I say about it um, yeah it's it's more than a deck builder uh, I, I don't accept pure deck builders like um, uh, or like the classic ones um, but 
this has missions that you go for. It's a solo only game. Um, you can of course consult with uh, a friend and take turns or something, but uh, essentially this is a solo game. It's easy to manage, there's not much administration, uh, it's just tracking the alarm at sev several um, at the end of each round. Um, you see, you get some idea of what is coming, so you can plan ahead a little bit. Um, colors are really nice. Um, yep, that's it. Uh, that's for the build and the design. The iconography is good. I mean, the triangle for uh, warning and stealth is n uh, very well done. A circle for um, yeah, for for hitting things is, is a good good uh, um, good design choice. Uh, this for uh, with the, with the th uh, for things that go point inward for the alarm. It's also it's like a, like it's like a clock, so it is very intuitive. And these icons, I never really paid much attention with it uh, to these. Um, they're not used that often, so they could be used a little bit more often. And I heard that there was a remake of this game in commercial sense, super hot, and that it was a crap game because they changed the rules. You shouldn't. You should not <laughs> change the rules um, to for such a cute game. So um, that's all I have to say. Um, next game will be something completely different. Okay, bye.